Ladies and gentlemen, Hölgyeim és Uraim, I stand before you as a man of action, én a cselekvő emberként és nem a szavak emberként állok önök erről 25 évig szolgáltam az Egyesült Államokban a hadseregében négy kontinensen autoritárek és elnyomó országaiban. And I stand before you as a man of action, not words. It is good to be in the midst of fellow conservatives. In fact, I recently came across a headline that read, and I quote, Victor Orban's anti-woke resistance has made him the splinter under the fingernail of the EU. And that confirms that I am in good company here in Hungary. Ez megerősíti, hogy itt jó helyen vagyok Magyarországon, jó társaságban vagyok Magyarországon. But friends, I will tell you that there is a global movement of like-minded splinters under the fingernails of the establishment. The French farmers, the Dutch farmers, the Canadian truckers. A kanadai, Jordan Peterson, Holland, Francia, President Trump, they are standing against the axis of wokeism, which includes the likes of Joe Biden, Justin Trudeau, George Soros, the World Economic Forum, and many of America's CEOs. It is necessary that those of us in this room, along with others who love liberty, to help spread this growing movement around the world through peaceful but forceful resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, Christianity is the foundation of the Western world. Our rights are endowed by our Creator, not centralized governments. Foundational principles must be defended, taught to the next generation is valued if we are to claw back a prosperous future from the dystopian vision of the left. Human dignity given by God is the core of our faith. The best known verse, John 3.16, for God so loved the world, every person, that intrinsic value and dignity is why we believe that personal liberty and responsibility in our political and cultural society best reflects our creator's design. But we all know there is a storm brewing. The Western world stands at a crossroads between wokeism and the timeless values of God, family, and country. Think about this. In my lifetime alone, the Western world has gone from faith in God, family, and country toward godliness Paganism azt, hogy egy elmozduló a szocializmus and spiritual emptiness pervade our societies. Recent statistics, as you've heard before, there is a worldwide epidemic of loneliness, particularly among our young. It is up to us to choose the path forward. Let us continue to fight for a future guided by faith, family, and patriotism. And by that, I mean patriotism to the best political and cultural construct the world has ever known, a nation-state. We, you and I, must be the vanguard of liberty-loving people from across the globe, a vanguard of people who cherish individual liberty and responsibility, who will stand firm and speak forcefully to a world that has lost its way. We cannot heal one inch, one centimeter of freedom in this fight. The indispensable statesman of the 20th century, Winston Churchill, said we must confront our perils and trials with that national unity, speaking of his nation state, that cannot be broken, and a national force that is inexhaustible. We must confront them with resilience and ingenuity which are fearless and above all, that inflexible willpower to endure and yet to dare for which our island race has long been renowned. Together, you and I, we must stand on the walls to defend objective truth and liberty. This will require sacrifice. I have been called a terrorist by one of my congressional colleagues, and he was from my own party.
We must not succumb nem to the siren call of authoritarianism in the name of safety. This is our date egyében. with destiny. Ez a Let us meet it with wisdom, uh, tenacity, and courage. Is This is our date with destiny. Uh, Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless CPAC Hungary. Thank you. Isten áldja önöket. Isten áldja a CPAC Hungary. Köszönöm, hogy meghallgattak.